Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. Yes? Hey, Takahashi. Tell me a joke. What are you saying? Tell me a joke. No, not now. Bye. Yes? Huh? 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 Yeah? Ellie? Are you here? Nick? really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? My wife was... murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean and they... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Now that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. Who were the gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. Wait. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. You think raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. If 
discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? The man who... killed my wife. He had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it. But that sound... Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Huh. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah, either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance is bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? Let's see if I can get this open. One heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Don't think I can pick this. No luck? We need to find the key. platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? 
I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Come running. Do you ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout a little less? Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? What are you doing here, Piper? Nah, -uh. Not until it's in print. You can read all about it in the next issue. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. Most folks are just looking for a hand. All we gotta do is offer. Ah, yes. I remember you, our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? I'm looking for a key to a house in the city. I assume the mayor's office has a copy. <laughs> well, we don't have every key in the city. Where would we put them all? <laughs> Besides, every citizen in my city has a right to their privacy. Now, if we did have a key, only the owner can ask for it. That's my final word. So that's it? You're not gonna help? Security is part of what keeps Diamond City above the petty squabbles and misfortunes of the Commonwealth. I can't betray that for anything. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. I see. I'm sorry, but however horrible the crimes this Mr. Kellogg may have committed, your word alone isn't hard evidence. Fine. Thanks for nothing. I know it's disappointing, but I have to think of all the people of Diamond City, not just the needs of one person. Mayor McDonough? Back about this key business, I assume. I'm sorry, but I cannot condone unlawful searches of people's property. I understand you have rules. Maybe for the right amount, you can bend them a bit. What? How dare you? I'm the mayor, for God's sake, not some thug for hire. Fine. Thanks. All uh, right. No funny business around the mayor. Got it? Geneva.
The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? Who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up? If you're talking about a property that the city has seized, we only have one on the books. Mr. Kellogg's old house. You'd have to ask the mayor directly if you want the keys. Come on. Can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. I've heard the sob stories before, so save them. Never mind. Thanks for nothing. Have a nice day. Head in. You do the honors. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. They see. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. Hey, Valentine. Check out what's on that table. Gwinnett Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. It won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Any suggestions, Nick? Hmm. What about dog meat? Commonwealth mutt like him can track a man's scent for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. You have to face Kellogg on your own. 
Just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. Can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. Any words of wisdom? If Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son, then he's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Got something, boy? Here, hurry! Hey! Get the feeling I told you to bring him into the basement! Shut up! They're headed this way now. Be ready! Go check it out. You don't think I will? I'm tired of saying, I, I You're said building a collection or something? I'm hiding back here. Why the hell don't we just shoot him in the head? End of the line! Hide and seek.
Kellogg must have stopped here. Search around, see if we can pick up the trail. San Francisco sunlights. Dog meat find something? Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. <coughs> okay, boy, let's track him. Enough to go on?
doing them much good at this point. Looks like another one of Kellogg's pit stops. Keep your eyes open. <laughs> 